Welcome, friends, to Lashes Love Technology. I am your host, hip hop engineer. Yes, I am a senior director of product management. Yes, I am an electrical engineer. And three yeses, I'm a hip hop instructor too, hence, hip hop engineer. For today's episode, I am joined by the Group Vice President of Business Development for Oracle, Ms. Galen Rothrock. Now, you guys are in for a treat. This woman is wise beyond her years. She has a ton of experience. She's brilliant. She's a STEM god. And she's my friend. Galen, <laughs> thanks for joining us today. Nice to be here with you, Kay, and thank you for that uh, great introduction. I think I'm quite humbled now. It was good, right? It was very good. Thank you. But it's okay. nice to be here. Yeah. So so that was like your corporate intro. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you tell our viewers, like, like, who is Gaylene? Like, what do you do at Oracle? Let's see. So I review sales trends and market trends, and I figure out the best way to position Oracle's technologies to customers. So it means I talk to product managers like Kay, I talk to salespeople, I talk to marketing and finance, and most importantly, I talk to customers. It's a lot of talking. It is a lot of talking, but I'm Australian, so it kind of fits. You don't mind, right? (laughs) Okay, so I want these folks who are watching today to get to know Gaylene. Now, if you had a superpower, what would it be? The superpower that I like to think that I have is empathy. So I try to listen hard when I'm talking to people and listen to why they're asking or why they're sharing the information that they are. And then it becomes easier to figure out what to do next. So whether that's helping a customer or talking to a person about their career, I like to listen The superpower I wish I had was retaining everything I read. If I was able to like learn something once and have a permanent muscle memory, like kind of like a version of Highlander, but I'm aging myself by talking about that. Yeah, I love love the empathy superpower. I want that one. And you do. You're a great listener. Mm. Yeah. Today, we are. Humility is like the other superpower. I don't like talking about me. So this is a very unique moment for y'all. I, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful because I know how many times I had to ask to get you to say yes. <laughs> and one of those other times, right, that you said mm-hmm. yes was when we did the Grace Hopper show on authenticity and vulnerability. And mm-hmm. remember, OK, so we were talking about we had like the five points. Um, but that first point in, in what I really remember from that show mm-hmm. was the one where you shared, um, you know, how having difficult conversations getting your point across in an authentic way, right? While still like preserving uh, the relationship and yourself. You you know, this is about women in technology. So this is really an important skill to be able to have. And and can you share what you said? Yeah, that that Grace Hopper event was... uh was a terrific event and uh, definitely as we talked about authenticity during difficult conversations I talked about there being a a difference between being brutally honest and having a difficult conversation and just sharing what needs to be shared I think if you focus on just being brutally honest you care more about your thoughts than the outcome itself so here, the things that we actually talked about was if you need to have a difficult conversation, there's some things that I would suggest you do. One is to create a non-threatening situations where, situation where you can both talk. Um, I think you should have your data to support your opinion or around the topic that you want to discuss. I think you should... Understand really what you expect from the conversation, because if you're just going to go in there and talk about what you know, rather than what you're going to get out of the conversation, you're probably not going to get what you want. And indeed, you need to be ready for the fact that the other person might not agree with you. And so when they don't agree with you, it's okay. Um, Any kind of no creates an opportunity for the future. And you'll know that you've been authentic just by having that conversation. I love that. So no creates an opportunity for the future. Doesn't end it. Doesn't end it. And uh, if you think about uh, 
MLK and RBG and you channel them, you know that the arc might be long, but it definitely points in the right direction. I know that you are super duper passionate about using data, mm-hmm. right? To solve some of the world's biggest problems. So I want to know from you, mm-hmm. what's the next big thing? Like help us. So I think the practical use of machine learning and artificial intelligence is where it's going to be at next. And so for the listeners out there, um, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. So machine learning is about helping a machine make the connections between the data that's created from some events. But artificial intelligence makes use of what the machine actually learned to do something. So for for AI and ML, I think there's kind of two threads. One is machine learning and AI for the people. So what I would love to see is drug companies share more around specific issues like cancer or cystic fibrosis. If we can actually reduce the suffering and satisfy the economic needs of a drug company and do it in a sustainable manner, that will definitely change the world. It's going to require like large data warehouses and data lakes and the new term that's out there right now, lake houses to manage all the data, et cetera. But it, it's the best use of machine learning. So I was actually researching for this conversation how we do this already and to use machine learning to connect mammograms with medical records is a fantastic example. We let the machine find the correlation between what it sees in the mammograms and the medical results. And so then artificial intelligence can work with people's medical records to proactively reach out to those who might be at risk and don't actually know. And so then, because I've done my research, Kate. Very good. (laughs) Um, uh, If you think of AI and ML for the people, is one topic, and then by the people. And so if if you all think about the charts you've seen in the last 18 months, it's been a crash course in statistics. The last 18 months have definitely been tragic, but the world has absolutely seen the importance of data. And we can gain so much from sharing all this data. And so people can make smart decisions about their lives with data like this, like, how many people out there are trying to close their rings or count the number of steps each day Mm -hmm. and using the data that you have access to, because there's so much of it, to make decisions for yourself or really, most importantly, to do critical thinking. Like question everything. Don't be led. Dig in and figure out what really is important to you. So AI, ML, data for making sure that your life is under your control. Uh, I can like can I like make a t-shirt AI and ML for the people for the people by the people with the people yes <laughs> so okay there was a commercial uh that I did where there may or may not have been some dancing um and it and it was all about machine learning and at the end of the commercial I said this is free on Oracle mm-hmm. right so can you tell me Um, how Oracle is doing machine learning and AI. And if someone wants to get started, like what what, what should they do? Absolutely. Go to our website and look for live labs. Live labs are a great way to learn about artificial intelligence and machine learning. There's training courses there. There are ways to set up databases, et cetera, for free and just a small insight, Kay actually started our live labs. <laughs> but it is a great way to go and get your hands dirty on Oracle's latest technologies and artificial intelligence and machine learning are included in a lot of our database technologies. So, like, do they have to pay? Because, I mean, you said that, that it's free, but what if people need cloud accounts? I mean, like you need an environment, like you need all of that. And, and maybe they don't want to give their credit card. Like what can they do? Free is free. Free 99 is what I like to call it. <laughs> Cost nothing. Yes. Free so free. Live Lab <laughs> is free. Go to the site, do a search for machine learning. And, you know, what we're hoping 
is, Haleen, what you're talking about, I know that, so there was this COVID application and a series of COVID applications that Oracle has developed and my peers were developing during COVID, right? Mm -hmm. In the middle of the pandemic as it, it was rolling out. But, you know, when I hear machine learning and AI for the people, we're not done, right? There's more oh, work to be done be done. And, and Oracle is completely committed to that machine learning on autonomous database. The autonomous database is available in this always free account and machine learning inside of this always free autonomous database is available. So you can get started today. Um, Gaylene, you're the best. Love hanging out with you, Carrie. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the nuggets. Thanks for, I know that you're super duper busy. So thanks for spending time with us today and search for machine learning and live labs and, and help get with Gaylene. She needs your help. I need your help. Machine learning and AI for the people. So friends, make sure that you tune in for our next exciting episode. And if you want to connect, you can find me on LinkedIn. You can subscribe to this channel. You can follow me at hip hop engineer on Instagram. Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. Until next time, and I'm going to keep saying this until you do it, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Take care of yourself and each other. This is Lashes Love Technology. Be well. <laughs>